What's up Jurassic Coast fans? My name is Sam and welcome to another video by the Jurassic Coast Trust. I am here today on the coast path between Ypres and West Bay. Now the rangers from the Dorset Council have been busy up here in the last month or so and if you look behind me at the coast path hopefully it'll be obvious why. They have been monitoring a very large landslide as it has been developing. The rangers have actually closed the footpath but if you look at the cracks half the coast path is actually disappearing down the cliff so closing the path was absolutely necessary. They have been working though very closely with the landowner here Highlands End Holiday Park and have managed to reinstate a permissive path that takes you from the coast path where it's closed round through the caravan park and back onto the coast path at the other end beyond where the coast is collapsing. So this partnership working is really important when it comes to access along the world heritage like this. It means we can keep exploring this wonderful part of the country um, and do so safely. Now landslides and rockfalls are not something we're unfamiliar with along the world heritage site. But our amazingly diverse geology means that no two landslides are the same. Here, the geology of the cliff is some pretty porous sandstone stacked on top of some clays. And we think what's been happening is as the sandstones have been soaking up all of the wet rain that we've been having lately, they've become very heavy and they've started to fail at their boundary underneath with the slippery impermeable clay. And that is developing into what is actually quite a large landslide. Now I was up here about three weeks ago and I was looking at some small cracks that were visible in the soil of the worn path here. Some of them were opening to become a bit wider and that part of the path had been cordoned off. Three weeks later, there are now cracks meters behind those original failures into the grass of the campsite, which is why they've had to close the whole path section off. So compared to other places on the coast where we've had similar sorts of landslides, these big rotational slips, this one is a bit different. Below it is a sheer cliff. So when this goes, the concern is that it could go very suddenly indeed. So it is vital that people do not come to explore on the closed section of the cliff path. The other thing is that below the cliff here, thankfully, isn't beach. It's actually a big area of previously landslip material that's piled up hundreds or perhaps thousands of years ago. If this fails catastrophically, however, there is a risk that some of that debris could come tumbling down across that landslip material and out onto the beach. So please do beware of that risk if you come to explore the beach at Ypres. Make sure you pay attention to any warning signs and act responsibly. So what happens next? Well, the countryside rangers are continuing to monitor the situation and will respond as the landslide continues to develop. We have no idea how far it's going to go. We can't predict when it's going to collapse or exactly how, whether it will be that sudden catastrophic failure or a slow grinding slump down onto the um, beach below. We know it is active though, so it is ongoing. It's an ongoing issue. Like I said though, thankfully they've been working very closely with the landowner here. The holiday park is of course closed at the moment due to COVID restrictions, but come December they are hoping to open again in a safe and responsible way, welcoming guests on to the wonderful part of the coastline here on the Jurassic Coast. <laughs> 